Happy St. Patrick's Day. I'm Logan Henderson, and you are watching my most requested live Ask Anything chat. Thank you, iHeartRadio and Romeo, for having me on the show tonight. Um, and because it's St. Patrick's Day, I'm going to go ahead and rise a pint to you. Drink up. All right, let's get started. First one is Amy from Little Rock, and she says, Can you pronounce your full name with the proper hometown accent? Thanks. Uh, my full name is Logan Philip Henderson, and I pronounce it with the hometown accent, Logan Philip Henderson. There we go. This one is Francesca from Rome. She says, By my tongue talks about an awkward guy. Do you still reflect yourself in this character? Kisses from Italy. Um, thank you so much, Italy. Can't wait to come on tour and see you guys soon. Um, By my tongue is... Um, yeah, about um, kind of an awkward stage in your life in a, in a place where you don't quite feel like yourself. And um, I think it, we all feel like that at times. So I usually do that in the stories that I write where you kind of reflect a certain time in your life or a certain behavior or how you've uh, grown or changed. And that song in particular, um, that was an important part for me to um, speak on. This next one is Bene from Sofia. When you're on stage performing, how do you feel? Um, performing live is one of my favorite things to do, and it's one of the most important things to me as well. So when I'm on stage, um, I get to kind of forget about the world and kind of just shut off for a little bit and just focus on the music um, and everybody else that's there at the show connecting. So um, yeah, that's my favorite spot to be. Next one is Augustina from Buenos Aires. Um, Let's see, are you a person who watches YouTube or is it something that really does not interest you? I don't really get on YouTube a whole lot, but whenever I do, it's to watch animal videos and people, um, kind of like ridiculousness, those kind of videos. This is Moomtaj from London. Do you have tattoos that you can show us any new ones you're thinking about for the future? I have one right here on my hand that I got in London. and. Because it's South by Southwest, I was going to get a tattoo here in Austin, Texas. And I kind of have a couple ideas, but I don't want to share it with you. So you'll just have to wait and see. Ash from Queensbury. Yo, do you remember Big Time Rush? <laughs> you were on my first concert. Still occasionally jam out to your songs. Wanted to say hi. Hey, back to you. I do remember BTR. Uh, and that's cool that that was your first concert. I'm going to have um, a lot of concerts coming up. Maybe one in Queensbury. So definitely come and check it out. Shaylise from Parrish. Was there ever a moment that you just sat back and thought that you didn't want to make music anymore and just step out of the world? Uh, I think about that a lot. I think it's always important to have your own time and to have time where you can decompress. And in between the last show and the music that I'm doing now, I definitely took some time off to kind of get back to my roots and get grounded and that was an important time for me to reflect and I think it helped me grow a lot so I think it's very important for anyone. Chelsea from Columbus says, is it fun watching what BTS is going through now? Any words of wisdom you throw at them? I don't really have any words of wisdom for BTS. Those guys are killing it. They've been around for a long time and I love them. Petra from Summerin. Will you be doing any collabs with musicians and vocalists? For example, Demi Lovato or Max. Uh, Max and me actually have a show coming up, the Kentucky Derby Festival. So that'll be coming up pretty soon. And then we have another couple dates that we're going to be singing together. So I'm, I'm really excited to see him and watch him perform. And he's, he's an old friend, so that's going to be fun. And any song with Demi Lovato would be a dream. Luisa from Mexico. It says, love me, love me, say you're going to love me. Oh, I'm going to love you. <laughs> Julia from Newtown. Hey, Romeo and Logan. My question for Logan is, when writing by my tongue, what was the initial inspiration for it? And please tell Logan that I thank him for making my dream come true and wishing me happy birthday. Proud of you. Uh, thanks. I appreciate it. Um, Bite My Tongue was first inspired by a guitar riff, and after we after we kind of um, got the vibe for the song, we wanted to create the story 
um, like I was telling you before, which is about having that one person in your life who encourages you to be the best version of yourself and truest version of yourself. And that is the story behind By My Tongue. Sullivan from Belgium. Do you have a name and date for your album? Sullivan, I don't have a name or a date, um, but there's one coming pretty soon, so be on the lookout. Jenna from Woodstock says, what are deal breakers when it comes to dating? Dating should be about having fun and, and being upfront with somebody. So I think as long as you're honest and you guys are having a good time in the beginning, since you guys don't owe each other anything, just have a good time and get to know somebody. Laura from Cairo, Egypt. What was your favorite cartoon show as a kid? I'm still a kid. But right now I'm watching Rick and Morty. It's kind of the ritual before I go to sleep at night and it always keeps me laughing. Dixie from Chicago. If they picked you for a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, what two celebs would you want your star to be put in between? Uh, <laughs> I don't care as long as it's far enough away from Harvey Weinstein's star. So there we go. <laughs> Megan from East St. Louis. Who is your celeb crush? You know what? It's always been Natalie Portman, and I think it always will be. She's amazing. Um, love, her, love her work. And she's just, I mean, she's Queen Amidala from Star Wars. So what else? What else do you need? Mary from Athens, what is your guilty pleasure? Junk food, for sure. And reality TV, bad reality TV, the worst kinds you can think of. If I have those two, then I'm good. Addy from Chicago says, your previous live shows have been very production heavy um, or acoustic stripped down. Is that something we'll see again on your tour or will be a full production? Um, I'm hoping to have a few moments on my tour, so I, I very much love a spot where I can do a few acoustic songs and the rest will be full production, it'll be a full out show. And I can't wait for you guys to see it. Giselle from Chile. First of all, hey Logan, thank you for taking time to answer the questions from your fans around the world. She said, my question is, how is the experience of recording Bite My Tongue music video in a beautiful place like London? Uh, it took me a long time to figure out where I wanted the music video. But once we decided on London, I knew it was the perfect spot. It really goes along with the song. And London's a beautiful spot. I, I love the people there. I, I love uh, visiting. And I think the music video came out great and really gets to show the beautiful landscape of London. Jen from Central PA. If you had to write a resume, what would you put down as your skills? OK. Black Belt Boy Scouts, that's one of them. I can make a pretty mean avocado toast in the morning for breakfast. And um, I do a lot of running away from all my problems. So that's one. Alexa from Erie. In what order would you rank the following cereals on the Logan tour bus? Rice Krispies, Corn Flakes, Lucky Charms, Captain Crunch, Frosted Mini Wheats. Alexa, I, you're missing out some key stuff here. Honey Nut Cheerios, that's a favorite. Uh, what else? Cinnamon Toast Crunch, you don't have those on there. You need to get your game together, Alexa, on this cereal front. But these, these all sound good. I'll eat all the cereals, all of them. This is Alice from Madison. She says, what's one song you'll sing in the shower but would never sing in public? That new Camila Cabello album, I've we'll listened to a little bit. That might be a little shower singing. Probably hold off from singing that in public, you know? That from Cincinnati says, which artist was your favorite to collaborate with in the studio? Snoop Dogg is probably an all-time favorite. He's a legend, and he's um, creative and really open with his time and his energy. And that'll, that'll go down in the history books. A lot of fun. Elena from Westwood, what do you do when stress feels like it's too much? I always try to do something active. Either go out for a bike ride or go hiking, go surfing. Anything that's outdoors and kind of gets my mind away from everything else that's going on is, uh, is a go-to for me. 
And it looks like those are all the questions, guys. Thank you so much for this St. Patty's Day exclusive. Um, again, thank you, Romeo, and thank you, Most Requested Live, for having me out. Can't wait to see you guys on the road, see you on tour. Later.